Hi friends, welcome back to Sabir Cad. In this video, let's see the procedure to create and save a custom workspace in AutoCAD. First of all, I'll bring few toolbars into this workspace. So I'll click on the down arrow in the quick access toolbar. Click on show menu bar and click on tools, toolbars, AutoCAD and click on modify. Now you can see all the editing commands appearing in this toolbar. I'll just move it slightly towards left. Next, click on tools again. Click on toolbars, AutoCAD and click on modify to and drag this toolbar close to the first toolbar. Now we have almost all frequently used editing commands in AutoCAD taken to the workspace. This will help you easily locate and access a particular editing command. Otherwise, we have to click on the flyouts and click on the down arrow close to the modify and all that to access an editing command. Now let's bring two frequently used palettes onto the workspace. I'll press Ctrl 1 to access the properties palette using which you can change all the properties and parameters related with objects. Then press Ctrl 3 to bring the tools palette using which you can easily access tools, commands and other contents while you work in a drawing. Next, I will save this workspace. So click on the gear icon in the status bar toggles and click on save current as and give a name for this workspace. I'll call this workspace as my workspace and click on save. Let's go back to 3D modeling workspace. Now I want to access the saved workspace. So click on the arrow close to the gear icon and click on my workspace. Now that particular workspace is restored. So whenever you want to access a custom workspace, all you have to do is just click on the gear icon and click on the saved workspace. And you can delete the saved workspace using CUI command which stands for custom user interface. And here in the workspace section, you can see the default workspace as well as the saved workspace. Click on the saved workspace, right click and click on delete to delete it. And click on apply and OK. Now when you click on the arrow close to the gear icon, that particular saved workspace will no longer appear. Now I'll click on 3D modeling workspace to get it back. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked the simple tip and subscribe to Sabirkad YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on all my future video uploads. Until I catch you in another informative video on CAD. Bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time.